primary cause of dyslexia number 11. We have shown that the Greek alphabet is palindromic. In developing the Greek alphabet, the Greeks had identified an orientation preference. Uh, the majority of the population in Greece at that time couldn't cope with right-to-left text and were left-to-right scanners, and that instigated a process whereby they reverse the direction of written text over a period of 500 years. It is important to state at this point that there is nothing wrong with the dyslexic's brain. It is the direction of text that is at fault. Purely an orientation preference. They need text to be presented in a right-to-left format that is visually correct for reading and for spelling purposes. This is the word toot. Now, if the whole of the English alphabet was, could be palindromic and be presented in this way, then it could be read from right to left and left to right, but it can't. This is just one word that is completely palindromic, and as you look through the jar, you can see whether it is scanned from left to right or right to left. It can be sequenced as T-O-O-T. -O -O problem with English is when you get to lowercase letters, this is tab on the right-hand side and a mirror image of tab which actually is TAD on the left-hand side, and we're going to project the, the right-hand side to the left hemisphere of the jar and the left-hand side to the right hemisphere of the jar and see how it's sequenced. And here, when you project it through the Leonardo da Vinci test, you can see that TAB is... is uh, this is an um, inverted mirror image and sent to the back of the retina, and then it's sequenced and coded and decoded and sent to the brain and then sequenced back from the brain, T-A-B, tab. But on the right-hand side here, it is sequenced back as T-A-D because B's and D's will mirror image. Here we have tab in the left-hand section and a cross on the right-hand section and we're going to send this through the Leonardo da Vinci jar. This is being scanned from right to left, so the, uh, this is a, a dyslexic scanner scanning this word. And as you can see from the jar, this is sent to the right hemisphere of the brain, and it is sequenced as D-A-T or B-A-T, as bat or dat. Here we have a, a Greek character and a Chinese character which are palindromic and they only become a problem when they are split. They turn into P's and Q's and B's and D's. Now when you look at this projected through the jar, the left hand section which is the red goes to the right hemisphere of the brain and the right hand section which is the blue goes to the left. Now the palindromic characters, whether it is the, the feet or the Chinese character, stay intact and they are uh, do not mirror image or invert. But when you split the character, you can see from the projection that it turns into a, a the P turns into a, a D uh, or a B, depending on which side you're looking at. Now the Greeks overcame this problem by creating a palindromic alphabet. There are 16 letters in the Greek alphabet that are palindromic and the remaining eight do not cause a visual distortion when combined with those 16 letters. This is the word horta, in black, in a right to left direction, and again in black, in a left to right direction, and it is numbered as it is sequenced. As we project this through the jar, you can see from this projection that whether you are reading it in a left to right direction or a right to left direction, the sequencing is identical. It's H-O-R-T-A, horta. And in, the, in a right-to-left direction, again, this is mirror-imaged, inverted, coded and, e and decoded, and sequenced back from the brain as one, two, three, four, five. Horta. Please keep watching as these videos will confirm Leonardo da Vinci's findings of the 15th century. Thank you.